Good morning, camper family. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Harrison, can you say good morning? Good morning. <laughs> good morning. <laughs> oh, the joys of, of picking up the camera and not telling your family that you were going to film. Or your house. Your house. Oh, but we have a lived-in home. House, the house did not clean itself no, it did last not. night because you didn't prepare it wow. for the vlog. <laughs> house, we're going to start vlogging every once in a while now. You're going to have to stay clean, okay? <laughs> did you hear it, son? Did oh, you hear it? Look how big Archer's gotten since the last time he's been on film. Yeah, we think he's going to be walking within the week. We do. He's um, already taken like one step, so. He took like one and a half today. We're working towards it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so that's a big thing. Bye. Say bye. Oh. I don't know if he's going to let me film. So anyway, we wanted to pop on. A lot of things have happened over the past, like, what has it been? Like two months? It's been a long time. Yes, it has. It has been a long time. So a lot of things have happened, and we have some kind of like brainstorming to do, and we thought, hey, let's... Let's just lay it all out there and, and see where we're at. Yeah, I don't really remember how to vlog. I don't know. I, I will say that we had a lot of goals for this return. We wanted all new, like, intro, extra. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. End, end, end row? End? Uh, end called? screen? Yes. End intro. Credits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. X end screen. And we will have those things because I Artwork. know where you're going. Artwork. No, no, no. <laughs> this is just an update. This This is not our comeback. Oh. Yeah, this is just an update. So when is our next film coming out? Oh, we don't know. Film? We don't <laughs> our know. Next vlog we don't know. Out. Oh. But we have talked about a few things. Um the the problem is and, and let's just get let's just get into the first reason why we don't know. Let me have you hold that just for a minute. So I took my big E triple P on the thirty first and I did not pass. Um, yeah, it was very sad and obviously very heartbreaking and, you know, I, I had an hour and a half drive home and it was a really long car ride to, like, feel like a failure. Now, I'm saying that word. Nobody has called me a failure. My wife certainly no, hasn't. Failure. And I am not a failure. I know that I didn't pass. But at that time, mm -hmm. like, at that time, I felt, wow, I feel like a failure. Yeah. And I didn't help the situation because when she called me to tell me, she's like, I didn't pass. I'm like, let me see your paper with the score. And she's like, you really don't believe me? And I'm like, no, I don't. And then she Yeah, and then that really made pass. me feel crappy because like, <laughs> I was like, God, is that really me? Is that my whole thing? Am yes. I really a clown? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't like it. So this, this fact brings us to another crossroads because the whole point of... Um, you know, taking the break was so I could pass yes. the E triple P. And in fact, it was more of like one of those, like the triangle thing. So just imagine that there's a triangle on my hand. So here was E triple P, here was working out, and then here was vlogging. So I had these three things. And you know that you can't do all three at the same time. Right. You can only be in the middle. So for my health, for my family, and obviously, you know, for my career, I had to go this way. E triple P and working out. Well, now clearly that hasn't worked. So I am at this point now where I have to end both of these things and just stick with the E triple P. Yeah. And it's it just has to be that way. Like I I can't worry every day about oh am I getting in you know ten thousand steps? Am I? Mm -hmm. it, and again, where I'm eating properly. You know, I'm I'm eating properly. <laughs> <laughs> it's just that it's so much more of a worry like mm -hmm. if I've studied if I'm studying for 45 minutes and then I'm like oh I gotta get up I gotta get some activity in mm -hmm. so I'd stop like mid study at, before I'd even like learned some of the you know different skills and then I'd have to go back to it and that's not that's not a way to go but with that being said we did kind of talk about this that I think we're going to I have to wait until I get a new date, and since it's a holiday weekend, and you know, they, I had to wait for everything last week, because even though I leave knowing my score, which was a Tuesday, I didn't get the official score on the computer until Thursday night, so then 
I, by the time I put in my, my statement for retaking the test, nobody, you know, received it because it was Friday. Um, and it's weekend. a holiday weekend, so. So, that's kind of what we're waiting for right now is a new test date. Um, and again, keep in mind, guys, that every time I take this test, it's $687.50. So, <laughs> I don't want to just take this test, like, forever. You know what I mean? Right. And you can only take it four times a year. So, is it, like, four times from the first time you Yes. Did? So, like, from... From now, August 31st. So August 31st. You can only take it four times? Yes. Oh. So. Okay. You can't like pack four times in the rest of this year and then start over. Jesus, who has that kind of money? That would be like $2,500. I'm, I'm just saying if it was possible. Actually, no. It would be more than that because it's six eighty seven. Oh, boy. You look fine, honey. No. no. So anyway, that's that's the big update on that. But with that being said... We think, because we just have so many things happening with us that we don't want to just leave everyone in the dark. So we're thinking that we're probably going to be able to maybe do a one or one a week. And I think that's, that's good for our family right now. I think, um, I think we can do that. And right now we don't have a day set. We haven't worked out anything. And we actually don't know when yeah. we will be starting back what days would be the best days for you yeah. to watch yes. let us know so that's question number one what is the best day we know it's not going to be a monday or a friday monday and friday vlogs always did so terrible the you know like, oh yeah i mean so it's gonna have to be like a tuesday wednesday thursday so and i think we're still gonna keep our time i think we'll still keep the 11 a.m time i think that was a good time yeah so when we do come back, we're going to come back. We're going to break everything down. We'll have episodes. We'll have seasons. So you guys will be able to catch up. Because one of the main questions we get all the time is, is there an easier way? Like you guys just have vlogs 2020 or vlogs 2019. Like what if I want to look up a vlog that happened in August? You know, well, you got to do some legwork for that. Well, it's not that easy on... YouTube to do that legwork. So we're gonna try and make we're gonna try and make things easier for you guys and for us. So with that being said, this is kind of what we're thinking right now. Coming back one a week. Uh and we're thinking it'll possibly happen within the next two to three weeks because we wanna get the intro. The <laughs> outro. That's what it's called. The Th outro. Isn't that what I said? I don't know. Didn't you say exitro? No, I said Intro and outro, and Did then we're like end screen. End screen. But then I was st stumbling over the word end. And I was trying to say exit. Yes. So I was like X screen. I'm oh, you're frustrated. Yeah. What can I do? Well, do you how do we help? help? Just keep counting. Aww. <laughs> the technology. Do you know you can put a time limit on screens, and then when they use them all, that's it. Yeah. Time limits and alarms work very well for our children so far. Yes. So we are going to roll with that. So yeah, like we're planning on having a nice comeback, some new stuff. We're gonna update our Patreon end screens. Um, we we do still have different ways open um, for you to support us, but you know, uh, again, that is not um, mandatory. Of course, uh, we. I'm losing my train of thought. If you want your name We're at the end of, of things, then yeah, like I don't know what I'm trying to say. Like nothing else has changed. Hi, hi, pumpkin. Like we still have everything that we had before. Hi, you want to come see me? We still have everything that we had before. Um, we haven't changed anything. Yeah. Hi, my love. You're getting so big. Oh, you want that? You want oh, you want, you want ma? Okay. You want ma? That's strategically, okay. he wants okay. me because I have the camera. Oh, now he wants me. Look at those, look at those beautiful eyes. You got a lot of Good job, coffee. baby. I'm so Look happy. at those. Boop, boop. You I'm booped so the proud camera. Of you, you booped. He really likes looking at himself, just like Harrison did. 
Yeah. Uh. Aww. All right, I know we have a few more updates that we want to give the campers. Can you think of anything? Oh, is that me? That's my mom. You better get Some it. things never change. My mom is still calling <laughs> when we are trying to film. Look at you. Well, this is an update everyone should see. Yes. So for those of you who haven't kept up with us on TikTok or like Facebook and Instagram, um, I'm down. I hit the 60 pound mark. I lost 60 pounds and then I gained a couple pounds back. Mm -hmm. I haven't been on the scale in a couple of days and I'm not going to get back on the scale for a little while because I know that my stress and my hormones are playing into that. But I, I have been working. I mean, look at this. Yeah. Girl, look at that body. Girl, look at that body. Oh, you want to side view? Yeah. Look at that. You are doing so good. I mean, good. it feels like my skin feels a little different. Like, I'm not over here, like, throwing around loose skin. <laughs> but, like, I've noticed my arm, too. Uh-huh. Like, my arm feels a little different as well. Good. Yeah. So, um, and again, I will try to, like, update with that as... Sorry, my back itches, and I'm not going to not scratch it. Um, I'll try to update as much, but nothing has changed. Like, no diets, no gimmicks. Uh... Yeah. No. The other like big huge thing about me is that all of this basically started because my A1C was 6.3, mm -hmm. like right on the cusp. Yeah. And my glucose <clears throat> and my glucose level was 124, which is literally 1 point below one, the diabetic level. Yeah, so I was in this pre-diabetic range. Mm -hmm. I found out on the 3rd that my A1C is now 5.7. Yay! And my glucose level is 104. Woohoo! So, by losing weight, by cutting out some of the, you know, like, I'm not going to lie, for breakfast, sometimes I would have had a chocolate milk and a six-pack of donuts. Yes, I was a glutton. I liked that stuff. And sometimes at night I had a Hostess cupcake and chocolate milk, or I had Oreo <laughs> cookies and milk for a snack, because... It's a feel-good snack, but you know what? I can't your day do that anymore. Starting your day with a bunch mm. of sugar. Mwah. So I was literally like fueling my body with, I mean, which was what we use, yeah. but it was the wrong type of fuel. Mm -hmm. And now I'm on that premium stuff so I can do stuff like this. So I can dance with my boys and go for walks. Yes. You know how amazing it is to just go for a walk? It's awesome. It is. So, other than that, um, Harrison is going to be starting school. Mm -hmm. We're very excited for that. Um, it took a lot for us to agree to do that. And, you know, Carrie was pretty pretty nervous as well. Still am. Yeah. Still am. But we went to the school and we, we found out all their precautions. Mm -hmm. And we did. Yeah. Oh, you want this? You want this, baby? And we're going to... Yeah, we're just gonna play it by ear, you know? You wanna see this? Hi! You are really excited over the camera. His hair in the camera to me yeah. looks like it has a tinge of red in it, but in real life it does not. It doesn't, no. No, he looks very pale and very like red haired in the photo. And he, yes, he is pale, but he does not red haired. He's not that pale. He's just white. <laughs> I guess he is kind of pale. Yeah, he is yeah, pale. You're right, you're right, you're right. That's because right. we use that premium sunscreen. <laughs> so, something else that happened, because you guys know that we love to brag about our children, but we're always very clear that all kids should be bragged about, not just ours. When Harrison went to go meet his teacher, they have these lines on the bathroom, like on the bathroom, on the floor, like telling kids like kind of where to go. And it gives them like extra opportunities to like, listen to the teacher and follow directions and stuff like that. Well, the teacher told Harrison, she said, okay, follow the blue line all the way. And this kid, he did not cut any corners. He did not. He followed the blue line, went to the bathroom, or like went into the bathroom, didn't have to go, but we showed him the bathroom. We wanted him to go see it. Mm -hmm. And when he left, he followed the blue line back and the teacher had said, wow, <laughs> I guess he really follows directions. We were really, really happy about that. and. 
And then of course, another thing that recently happened was we took him to the park. We got a new park in our town and this park is pretty awesome. Minus the seating areas, I, they still have some things to build, but the new park is, it's pretty amazing. There's so many things for kids to do and mm. everything is so sturdy. So like if you have bigger kids, you know, with intellectual disabilities who, you know, they might look like they're 12, but they're, you know, really only three, you know, in their mind, they can still play on this park. The only thing that they were lacking was they didn't have a swing set for anyone in a wheelchair, but they had yeah. other access. Like they had big saucers, you yeah. know, for bigger kids. I mean, so they, I, I do want to like, you know, see what we can do about that because I know we have a few kids, you know, in town with that. And maybe it's coming because I know it's not completely finished. Yeah, I, I'm not sure. But Harrison was running around in the park and Carrie had said, don't forget to say excuse me. The rest of the time we were there, he kept saying excuse me to all the kids. And the one, like, one of the moms came up and said, gosh, your son is so well behaved. And I said, yeah, he's, you know, he's got his good days and his bad days because he's a child. And she said, wow, I just, I never noticed that. Is he, what grade is he going in this year? And I said, oh, he's just starting in preschool. And she said, what? And I said, yeah, he's only three. He's just turned three. And she said, oh. Come Do I gotta up the Annie here? Yeah, gotta show him your phone. Archer. Oh, oh. But look at him. <laughs> we started noticing that he was going to like start, you know, becoming more serious about his steps. Um, when one day, was it like two weeks ago, he's standing up and then he slowly kneels to the ground and he kept his balance the whole time. And we were like, what a little sandbagger. Yeah. And then we noticed he started taking steps like from like big furniture you know, and we were like, what the heck, bud? Yeah. He's a little stinker like that. Yeah, yeah. So, anyway, I know my story got cut off because we hadn't vlogged in so long. We didn't really get rid of any of the old footage, so we didn't have enough room. But basically, people can't believe that Harrison is only three. So, I'm really thankful that... Um, you know, his excuse me's and his, you know, politeness is very sincere that other people catch that and yeah. you know obviously very thankful that we've had the time to work with him like just on manners and on being polite that's pretty awesome so i know there's probably a lot of things that you guys um want to know and if there's a lot of stuff that we've left out please let us know down below um again th another reason that we'll be coming back slowly and with only one a week is also we'll be able to keep in more contact with you guys it was really hard for us with the three videos to even read all the comments. It was tough. Um, yeah, everything else that was going on, yeah. Right, with... At one point in our lives, we were able to... Oh, of course. ...every day, but it's just not possible. Right, with it's two kids, e triple P, and with, you know, working out more and, and really just spending more time uh, with the kids, we really just didn't have a lot of time. You know, and, and our mods are, you know, really busy. They got a lot going on in their own lives right now, too. You know, so this break, um, uh, we haven't even talked to them about anything to make sure that they're all still okay to, to do stuff. Um, you know, if not, we might have to look for some more. Hopefully we don't. Um, but yeah, there, I mean, there's a lot of changes that could be coming, you know, this way. So, so yeah, I, I hope that everybody is still understanding. We hope everyone is well. Um... I guess that's really all that we have to say. Yeah. Yeah. Should we do a new sign off? <laughs> I was going to say, what was our old one? <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, I really had to think about it. Did you see my wheels spinning? I was like, what did we used to say? <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> oh, we used to say, thanks for hanging out with us today. And thanks for sharing us with your friends. Yeah. And we'll catch you. <laughs> Uh, what did you say? Buddy, do you want to come over and say it into the camera real quick? Nobody, the campers haven't even seen you. No, I don't. No, you don't? All right. All righty. 
All right, guys. Well, well, you've heard it. So thanks for being here, and thanks for. And we'll catch you. Yeah. <laughs>